local governments have built a series of dams throughout Bear County to protect communities from floods. Some are here in the Salado Creek watershed in north-central Bear County. This area is prime flood territory. Here you see the most recently completed dam, Salado 15R, in McAllister Park. It is one of 14 dams in the Salado Creek watershed. In 1998, before Salado 15R was built, a punishing flood occurred in this area. 10 to 22 inches of rain fell in different locations in less than two days. Salado Creek overflowed its banks. Homes and cars were damaged. Throughout the San Antonio area, 11 lives were lost due to flash flooding. But the destruction would have been worse without the Salado dams. Together, they restrain nearly 33,000 acre-feet of flood water, an amount that would fill 33 million average-sized bathtubs. Residents in the Salado Creek watershed, as well as those in downstream communities on the east side of San Antonio, had avoided the full force of the flood. Had Salado 15R been in place in 1998, it would have lowered the water level of Salado Creek by four feet and reduced even further the damage from the flood. Today, as rainwater flows downstream through the 35-mile-long Salado Creek watershed, it accumulates behind each of the 14 dams in its path, limiting potential devastation. Of the watershed's 140,000 acres, about 65,000 lie downstream from the dams. Low-lying roads, called low-water crossings, are almost always covered by water when there is heavy rainfall. They can be found in many places in Bear County. The city of San Antonio has made many low water crossings safer using a combination of methods. Here we see Henderson Pass and Lawrence Creek in the Salado Creek watershed. After repeated flooding and the loss of a life in 2002, the city raised the road, bridged the creek, and installed new rail barriers and flashing lights. Flood water now flows under Henderson Pass and drivers are exponentially safer during floods. At many low water crossings in Bear County, local governments have installed sensors that relay water level measurements to a central location. In combination with a state-of-the-art computer system, some of the crossings can be monitored at all times by officials and emergency management personnel.